Hi Pisces, how are you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Anissa, from The Inner Stereo. This is going to be your love messages. It's a general reading, so the rules might get reversed or it may or may not resonate with you. And if this reading resonates with you, there's going to be a link down in the description box below for personal reading with me, okay? So, in this reading Pisces, it's going to be a you versus system format. I am going to be pulling a card about who is it that we're going to be talking about today and what their current energy is like. Your challenges, past, present, future from both parties, and we're going to clarify them. And I am also going to be pulling some advice card for you by the end of the session, okay? I feel that at this present moment, Pisces, a lot of good things are actually opening for you. There's going to be like a lot of momentum, a lot of opportunity for you to feel good about yourself, a lot of confidence that I feel that it's going to lead you to be a lot more playful again. I feel that if you were doubting that you have the ability to manifest or to make it work within your life, I feel that that doubt is soon going to start disappearing. Now, what are your challenges here? You have the three of cups and you also have the world in that proposition. I feel that one of the biggest challenges, especially when it comes to this connection, has a lot to do with your detachment. I feel that somehow within your energy, I'm still sensing about you attaching your happiness onto the result of your connection with another person. So I'm gonna give an example. If things are okay between you and this person, you're going to be very, very happy. But if things are not okay with this person, then you're not very happy. So you're kind of like attaching your happiness based off of the result of the connection, how that result is going to be like. Well, it's not supposed to be that way, but we're going to clarify in a moment. Now, in the past, they have the high priestess and they also have the judgment and upright position. I feel that this person was just kind of like trying to observe while also at the same time putting a bit of a distance between the both of you. I think in the past here, especially with the five of wands and also the eight of wands, you were fired up. You were fired up in terms of a conflict that you have within yourself. I feel that you were very fired up. There is a bottle up emotions. There is a bit of resentment here that I'm sensing. And there's also a little bit of like frustration that you truly would like to communicate with this person. If you had communicated it to this person or if you've shown the frustration that you felt, this person in the past were just receiving. They're trying to kind of like process it. They're trying to download it. Not everybody has the ability to react on something that is emotional that quickly. Like for me, for instance, I do have the tendency to, okay, okay, I got it. I need some space and time for me to, you know, process it. I, I can't right away be like that. And I feel like this is your person as well. They needed some times to process it. They needed some times to figure it out. But it's taking a while, yeah? <laughs> it's really taking a while because at this present moment, this person is still very much so the justice and also the two of pentacles. I feel that they're grappling with the decision that this person is needing to make. We're going to clarify in a moment. From your side, you have the three of pentacles and you also have the ace of swords. You do have an idea on how to make it work. You do have an idea of what you're supposed to be doing and you true you you still kind of want to you want to um collaborate you still want to compromise within this connection in the future hierophant and also the six of cups from their side i feel that this person you are going to be receiving an offer but we're gonna have to clarify from who this is okay i don't want to speak too soon which I feel that you're going to be receiving it as if like, okay, now finally something that is tangible, now finally something that is practical that is coming to me. But I feel that that offer is going to come the moment that you're trying to move to calmer water. So let's just clarify now. So I want to clarify this justice from their side in the present moment.
they're very much aware of the fact that you guys love them okay but i feel that there is a bit of a resistance that this person is trying to put so if you're thinking of just come in their way and pretend that everything is okay or if you're trying to come their way and just you know give them a ton of love give them a ton of good times and etc i feel that it's going to be met with a bit of resistance because there is some restructuring or there is some defenses that this person would like to put up with you i'm going to clarify yeah let me clarify the two of pentacles from their side now this person is very much confused because they feel that you know if i go at it with pisces again okay if i take a giant leap of faith with pisces again or if i take that second chant with pisces again the sensing that, that that actually is going to lead to another conflict or that is actually going to lead to another argument i think this is also one of the reasons why they're being they're holding back at this present moment so i'm just going to wait until pisces feels okay i'm just going to wait until pisces is getting normal they're kind of like trying to read the room of when is it exactly the right time for them to be okay but what's interesting is that even if you are the one that do it to them they're still kind of like on the fence here let's clarify i want to clarify from your side here with the three of pentacles Because I feel that from your side, you would like to put an end to a confusing situation. You would like to put an end to what feels like a mystery within this connection that always makes you feel kind of like anxious or insecure within this connection. I feel that you have learned how to go about it. You've learned to approach it in a newer way. But again, this person is not really open to it. And it's not because they don't love you. It's more about them fearing that it probably going to lead to another conflict or it probably going to lead to another argument. Okay, let's clarify in the future. I want to clarify the Hierophant from their side in the future. Oh, you're actually going to have a good time in the future here, Pisces. I feel that at some point in time, you are going to be able to learn how to compartmentalize your feeling. It's going to be very different than your energy in the now, where it's still very challenging for you, right? Like, if things are not okay between me and that person, that means that I'm not going to be happy today. Your happiness solely depends on the result of the connection between the you and them. But I feel that eventually in the future, you guys are going to have a lot of fun and you're actually going to be engaging with people that feels like home. A new relationship is on the horizon here as well for you, if that is the case. If you're open to it, I mean... Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, because you're going to be at a period of time where you're done with the bullshit, where you guys are going to be done with all of the confusing situation that you guys were in, okay? Because I feel that this connection provided you with such uncertainty that you've waited and waited for kind of certainty from this, but enough is enough enough is enough from your side um you want to be taking a very drastic and a very straightforward approach of you know life goes on life moves on if it's not certain then fine let me make it certain let's clarify the six of cups
Now, the moment that you are putting your foot down here, Pisces, the moment that you're like, okay, I'm done with that kind of certainty. Let me make it certain for myself, at least. Let me um, go ahead and just move forward with my life and everything like that. That is going to be the moment where there, it's going to act a bit like a whip or a slap in the face for them. Or going to be like a huge realizations for them that they're supposed to go after this with you. That is the moment where I do feel that this person is going to try to redo the connection with you again or trying to make better of the connection. But again, the way in which they approach it is not really necessarily going to be them apologizing and having like this honest heart and heart talk with you. I do feel that your person is an avoidant though. It, it gets frustrating sometimes, you know, when you are, when you're expressing your emotions with another person and they're shutting down or they're stonewalling you, like they don't listen. It gets frustrating. So I do understand your feelings. But yeah, this person, the way that they're going to approach you in the future is more so of them trying to befriend you or trying to be friendly with you, okay? This type of friendliness that they're going to be doing towards you is just so that they could read the room and know that if there is any type of green light as well, um, if Pisces would actually um, give back what I give them. Two, if Pisces give them and it is still seemingly very friendly towards me, then maybe I would invest. It's like the Six of Pentacles. But there's a huge jump from not wanting to do about it, trying to be friendly with you, seeing how you'd react if you react in a positive light, then they suddenly give you, but there's no talk in between. So I just feel that the problem is may not be solved because it lacks effective communication. It's either this person doesn't really want to understand your point of view, or they just simply afraid conversation is going to lead to another conflict which they would pretty much like to avoid so eventually pisces in the future you're going to be faced with choices what is it that you would like to do but again this will only happen once you start putting a stop towards the uncertainty of the situations and you start trying to move to calmer water okay let's pull some advice card for you here pisces okay in the next week every time you get because i feel that you eventually when you're like okay enough is enough i'm done with oh, any type of certain uh, uncertainty i'm going to move forward with my life and you would have a goal you would have an ambition that you would like to achieve either it's going to be about your career about your health about your family or your friends whatever that may be but you would going to have this goal okay this goal that you're going to be pursuing is kind of like quite of a distraction over how you're feeling at this present moment and because you don't want to feel your feelings and you get so annoyed if people were to be standing in your way of you and the goals that you would like to achieve be careful of getting snappy at people be careful of hurting people that actually genuinely cares for you just because you're trying to avoid your emotions by focusing yourself on another thing i don't feel that this is about this person but it's much more about the people that you have in your life i say for instance you're so focused on you know i want to put myself to work and then you have a child who is going to distract you and then you get snappy about it or I, you just be careful of being snappy, okay? Because not everybody is an asshole. You do have people around you that are actually very genuinely caring for you, okay? So I think that is it for my reading for you here, Pisces. I hope that you find tons and tons of clarity that you guys have been looking for. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week for another weekly reading. All right, bye-bye, guys. Have a great day. I love you.